Y'all, I'm excited. I'm really excited because today's video is talking about the brand new Vera Bradley Harry Potter collection drop launch. I've done several videos about the Vera Bradley Harry Potter experience in the past, um, but this is the first video that is sponsored. Yes, this video is in partnership with Vera Bradley. Thank you so much to Vera Bradley for sponsoring this video. And thank you to you guys because you're why it's possible. My first two videos reviewing the collection drops, the first one was the the home to Hogwarts collection, the second being Herbology. Those videos did pretty well, and you're why I'm here today. So yes, I actually had the chance to get a hold of the new collection early, just a couple pieces, and take a look at the pattern and kind of develop some opinions, do a fun photo shoot, do a review, and yeah, let's get into the video. So the pattern that we have here this time around, the inspiration for this launch is Forbidden Forest. Like I said, the initial collection drop back last year, last fall, sometime around this time was home to Hogwarts. So you had like these very nostalgic, iconic Hogwarts inspired, Wizarding World inspired iconography. So it was like, the chocolate frogs and you know the castle the hogwarts crest it was it was a lot of that kind of stuff the second drop was herbology so you got some of the plants the mandrake you got you just got a lot of that very spring forward kind of vibe and what's really exciting about this drop forbidden forest is that it just feels very seasonally appropriate you're getting this like kind of a little bit of care of magical creatures vibe there's a lot of the creatures the magical creatures that we know and love featured in this pattern in this print and I'm personally loving that we're kind of going back towards these more richer darker fall forward tones we took a little bit of a break with herbology which was more spring and summer colored with that light blue kind of background I'm really excited to see that we're going into this very like moody magical sort of place with forbidden forest so I'll take you guys through up close and personal the print there are a lot of details in this pattern that I think are very special very unique if you are a Harry Potter fan you're gonna be into it. I think what I respect most about the Vera Bradley design team when they're partnering with Warner Brothers for something like a Harry Potter launch is the fact that they keep in mind all of these really small secret magical details that only people like you and I would really know and appreciate, right? I might be out, out and about kind of hanging out with these styles and not everyone's gonna realize what it is, but when you get up close and personal with the pattern, you start to see things that just feel really, really reminiscent of the films and these iconic characters that we know and love. So for example, in the Forbidden Forest print, we're getting a lot of the Forbidden Forest foliage. We're getting, we're getting these little like sparkles, this dust of magic coming across. Buckbeak is a really big, prominently featured magical creature in this print. I love that they kind of gave Buckbeak the moment here. I think when we think of magical creatures and the Forbidden Forest, we think of Hedwig, but Buckbeak really had such a part to play when it came to the forest and was just such a significant character. So I love that Buckbeak is kind of getting a moment here. You've also got the silhouette of the Hogwarts castle. I think that's super cool because from the forest, that's the view that we would get of the castle from the forest. So we're getting this new perspective of Hogwarts being our home as seen from the Forbidden Forest. You can also kind of catch Scabbers around. He's hanging out in this print every so often. Aragog, I will say, I feel like people, I feel like people have opinions about Aragog. Spiders are not the most lovable of creatures, but Aragog again is just one of those like really well-known, prominent magical creatures when it comes to the storyline of Harry Potter. So the fact that they gave him this moment in this print I think is pretty cool and it is subtle if you're not like a spider person I don't love I don't love a spider but if you're not a spider person you're gonna be okay with this it's very subtle the team did a really good job of sort of just weaving him in certain places my favorite character shown in this print is actually Fang I love that they put Fang inside of this print I can see little I can see little Fang over here in the corner I love that we're able to to see that you've also you've got Sirius Black here in his animagus form I thought that was pretty cool and then obviously of Hedwig they're not gonna do a Forbidden Forest print without Hedwig Hedwig also kind of got a couple specific accessories which I think is super cool if we want to jump into talking about some of the styles so this is like a little kind of coin purse-esque keychain that you can attach to your bag or your wallet or wherever your keys 
wherever you feel like it fits most. I put it on the bag because I thought it was a cute little, a little bag charm. The interior print really gives Hedwig her, her true shining moment. So the interior print is actually really just different poses of Hedwig, Hedwig in flight, her just hanging out on the forest floor. You've got a little bit of forest foliage going on, but really it's just giving Hedwig the microphone in this moment. Again, I love the tones of this pattern. I love the color scheme that they've gone with here. I like that we're really keeping it in this like mysterious, magical kind of moment with these jewel tones. The interior print, even though it is dark, they actually were very thoughtful about adding these pops of teal and these like lighter hits of the lavender. So that way in an interior print, you're still able to find things. I think one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm rummaging through my bag is when the interior lining is just a little bit too dark and I can't find my wallet, I can't find my keys, and then I'm spending all this time kind of rummaging about trying to get stuff. So it's very nice that they've taken that into consideration when it comes to interior prints on larger bags such as the Vera Tote. Speaking of the Vera Tote, let's talk about the styles that I got this time around. So I'm holding here the big beefy Vera Tote that we all know and love. I have nothing but good things to say about this style. I think if you've watched my channel even for a small amount of time, you'll know that totes are a really popular bag of choice for me. I just like to carry a lot of stuff. That's just the reality. I'm a person that is very multifaceted. I love to read. I like to read physical books, so I carry physical books around. I have a laptop. I'll commute. I think if, if you're a mom, like you'll have a lot of stuff to carry around. There's, there's just a lot of functionality in the Vera Tote as a whole. I also love getting a Vera Tote or a backpack or a duffel, one of those larger pieces, every single time there is a Harry Potter Vera Bradley collection drop, simply because this is the place I can get the entire pattern. So pattern placement for those of us who know and love Vera Bradley so much, it's really important. I would be devastated if I had an icon cut off that I really loved and wanted. So because I make sure to grab a Vera Tote in literally all of the patterns I care about, I always feel like I have a piece where I'm getting to experience and enjoy and appreciate the entirety of the pattern. So pattern placement is just not as, as big of a deal when I'm kind of going for a canvas this size. So you could say the same thing for the duffel or for the backpack, the campus backpack. Um, but for me, I'm a tote gal. I love the Vera tote. Again, there's so much I could say about this bag. The amount of pockets, the amount of storage, it's really functional, it's lightweight, despite being one of my biggest tote bags in my entire handbag collection. The Vera totes are always the ones that weigh the least. So they tend to be the ones I reach for pretty frequently. Another piece I got was actually what I'm calling sort of my like office and back to school. Yes, I'm 30 and going back to school. I'm actually taking an online remote creative writing course because I can and um, because stories like this inspired me to want to write and create stories of my own. But anyway, a notebook, super handy. I am very into the fact that Vera always designs pieces that really like match each other. So if I'm kind of in this fall Forbidden Forest vibe, I have my notebook to match. The mini notebook, I believe this is the mini size, is very compact, very small, very easy to take around. And I actually just, it fits right there. It fits in that front pocket, so convenient. I also have the matching, I, I use it for coffee, so I'm gonna call it my latte mug to go mug. Um, I'm a really big fan of all the Vera Bradley tumblers. I use the tumblers for like smoothies a lot. So between their more like tea and coffee focused designs and then their like water beverage sipping designs, I'm a big fan. I, I'm a big fan. I was in the market for something that was a little bit more like travel oriented. I have a lot of mugs to drink my coffee at home, but you know what? We've actually been really into going to the dog park lately. So, and the dog park has this lap, this path where you can just make laps around. So I literally, this this past weekend, filled this up with my coffee and took my dog to the dog park. I walked laps and she ran laps around me. And I got to have my morning coffee and it was still hot by the time I got to the dog park, which was 20 minutes away, so color me impressed. So that was another item I got. And then another item in addition to like a tote, a duffel bag, a backpack, a larger piece. I tend to always get a larger piece from these collections to make sure, like I said, I get to enjoy the whole print. But another thing I typically get is the RFID all-in-one crossbody. I know that name by heart because I have a lot of them. I have this actually in every single one of the prints from the Harry Potter Vera Bradley collections. So literally I have like the black one with the Hogwarts crest on it. I have the Herbology one. I really love this style because it is all in one. So I actually end up using these as my phone case. 
So I always put my phone there when we're going on walks. And then I use it as my wallet because it has more card slots than I have cards. Like the amount of space is insane. So I always tend to use these because they're just very multifunctional that way. And then the fact that I can take it crossbody or as a wristlet. So if I'm just gonna go like grab groceries or whatever, I don't always need my entire tote. I'll just grab this item. I'll take it as a crossbody. I can put my phone in the front pocket and it's like easily within reach. This might, the Vera tote might be my most functional of all of the pieces I have from Vera Bradley, but this might be my most used, I would say. And this is one of those ones that if you're just dipping your toe in and you're trying to figure out like what is a useful style I would reach for every day. I really think the RFID all-in-one crossbody is a great, great start. When it comes to the Forbidden Forest print, we actually get that Hedwig print here in the smaller pieces like the RFID all-in-one crossbody. So again, kind of nice for someone like me where I've got the larger piece that then the smaller piece will go into. They all coordinate, but they're a little bit different, a little bit unique, and just kind of interesting. And I showed this a little bit earlier, but I love when Vera does these little, I know it doesn't have to be a bag charm. It's not designed to be a bag charm, but in the last collections, I've seen Vera do like a herbology textbook or my favorite one was when they did Harry's glasses. It's literally a glasses case that you can then like hook on to your backpack or your duffel or your purse, your tote. I'm staring off to the left because my Hogwarts backpack is, is sitting there with, with the glasses case on it. I mean, I'm telling you, like <laughs> there she is. I literally use the things from the Home to Hogwarts collection still um, every day. Even though I'm not commuting into the office right now, I pack my whole, all my work stuff in here and I just tote it around the house. And here's the little Harry Potter glasses bag charm from that last drop. So yeah, point being, I actually think these little bag charm keychains, however you want to use them, I think they're very interesting. They're pretty cool. They add like a different dimension to your piece. They're just so fun and they're so sweet and they're so whimsical. And if you're looking for a little bit of extra magic. It's just a really fun little way to add some personality. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this was helpful. I feel like if you're watching this, you're either a really big Harry Potter fan or a really big Vera Bradley fan, or like me, you're a big fan of both. I'm just so pleased with what they've done with this collection. I think the colors, the print, the pattern, everything about this just screams Forbidden Forest and magical and being ready for fall. And the fact that they're releasing this and again, all of the classic Vera Bradley Bradley silhouettes and styles that we know and love. This is my third Vera tote. I don't even feel guilty about it. It's just a win-win. I, today is launch day. I made sure to get this video up on launch day. I will leave links to everything in the description box down below. I do recommend shopping pretty quickly if you are interested in this pattern, if it looks like something that would be fun for you. If you're at all tempted, buy it. This stuff sells out. It's limited edition. I do wanna make sure to stress that because I am a woman with some regrets. I still regret not pulling the trigger on the mini backpack in the Home to Hogwarts print and it's sold out now. So I check the website like once a week to see if it'll ever come back in stock. But if you love it, snag it now. These are limited edition collections and fans are, are gonna eat it up. Anyway, everything is in the description box for you guys down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, subscribe, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.